Penny Angela and welcome back to my YouTube. I am so excited to be back for the new year 2021. Yes, 2021. So I'm very excited to be back and uh, I'm trying to, as I said several times, to be more, um, to be more, motivated to be the freaking vibe so that's what i'm gonna try to do be more active and consistent that's my uh, resolution for 2021 and there's no better way to start the new year than by being a messy bitch today's video is going to be a little bit different than anything i've done before but today, we are going to be discussing things that I want us to ditch in 2021. Yes, I said it. So, I'm saying it. Carisha, please! <laughs> I said what I said. So we can square up. So... What? Okay. <laughs> 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 so before we get into this video, um, I know these sort of videos can be a kind of touchy subject for some people and I don't want anyone to um, get offended by what I say. This is my personal opinion and ultimately it's all fun and games. Um, it's meant to be fun. Hopefully you guys find it funny. I mean, I'm no comedian but you know, hopefully you guys get some chuckles out of it and um, it's all lighthearted. So, Without further ado, let me shut my mouth and let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I want us to ditch in 2021 is the for me thing. Which your dad gave you for me. It's the hating your parents even though they give you everything you want for me. Nothing. I hate when y'all say that. It is so cringe as Especially when white people say it, no offense, no offense. But y'all be like, it's the too much mayo for me. It's the bangs for me. It's the TV for me. <laughs> I'm just so funny. <laughs> I roasted you. It's the for me. For me, it needs to, like, y'all have worn that thing out. The only for me I like is um, when Megan said it in one of her verses, that, that, that viral TikTok verse that's going on. Um, it was a knees for him. It was a he ain't so cute, but he can dress. It was a protect for me. Hey, you know, he done like, a whole lot of girls, but it was a me for him. Hey, like that is cute, but y'all need to stop saying it. Like if you're not Megan, you just, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like that. Girl, stop. Okay? I don't want to hear y'all say that it's for me. I don't care what it is for you. Like, I don't, like, I, and y'all really think y'all doing some. Like, y'all be like, oh, it's the, it's your hair for me. It's the unblended eyeshadow for me. It's the uncreativity for me. The second thing I really need us to live in 2021 because, I mean, sorry, y'all can see every little piece of dust that flies. <laughs> the next thing that I really need us to like calm down with on 2021, and actually not just calm down, but completely like get out, get out. I don't hear Trump 2020, Trump 2020. Can y'all stop? First of all, 
2020, 2020, honey, that, that done left. 2020 gone, baby. No more 2020. I mean, like, so y'all still saying this in 2021. It's like, bro, you let it go. I don't want to hear it. Okay, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear his name. I don't want to see his fucking ugly ass comb over. I don't want to fucking see his orange. I just only the only time I want to hear his name is when he's out the door. Okay, yeah, big yeah. Okay, I don't want to hear. People are still you like using now on TikTok as like a way to come back at people. It's like, oh well, Trump twenty twenty. I was like, girl, it's twenty twenty one. Uh, do you need a calendar? They sell them at the dollar store. I mean, I even have one for sale. I got some extras. I got like two extra, girl. I can, I can send you one so you know what year we're in. Cause you gonna be late to work. You still in 2020. Like, uh huh. Get on, get it. Okay. Another. <laughs> oh yes, we are going there. Um, another thing. The third thing I would like for us to leave in 2021 is some aspects of Y2K fashion. Now, please don't drag me for this, but. It's just like, it's not the tea in my personal opinion, like, I mean, I understand how younger generation, especially Gen Z, the TikTok group, want to relive those horrible fashion crimes that we committed. I mean, that was like more of my childhood, um, adolescence, but I remember it. I mean, I would go to school with like a dress with jeans underneath it and y'all trying to bring this back i don't know i don't know what got into y'all heads now there are some aspects of y2k fashion that i love but it's not what i'm seeing being um reinterpreted uh i would love to see more of the like rock of love like stripper look like i would love to see y'all do that bring that look back bring more ex tina like that, I love a trashy vibe. Like I, I love a trashy vibe. I love a trashy vibe so much. Um, that could be cool, but there's just some aspects of it. Like I don't like, um, this has nothing to do with Y2K, but those big chunky feel shoes, can y'all, wasn't that 2019? Can y'all, like, I don't know why I'm still seeing them. Like, I don't know why I'm still seeing them. So. Next caller. I'm you know, please stop. I have a person that I, another person that we should leave in 2020. It's Jeffree Star. Like, I don't want to hear about no Jeffree Star, no Tati, no James Charles, no um, Nikita. Like, got a lot to say about them just no tana mongoose no i don't want to hear about no influencer that's actively waking up every day and choosing ignorance choosing ignorance choosing ignorance <laughs> partying during a pandemic <laughs> traveling during a pandemic <laughs> Bitch, what are y'all doing? Y'all need to... Y'all shouldn't even been relevant in 2020, but for whatever reason, y'all were. Nikita, Tana Mongoose, um, James, Chickies, all of them, they need to just stay there. Jeffrey, Rar, Shane Dawson. Um, I don't want to hear that. I don't, I just, they're just ignorant. Logan and... Hogan, Paul, the two of them, whatever their names are, they need to stay, like, away, like, I don't, like, I don't, don't do that, <laughs> don't do that, friend, don't do that. Excuse me, ma'am, excuse me, you're in my business. 
yeah don't do that anywho i am back y'all sorry about that i had one of those like automated calls of like the senators people congress people you know automated call but a phone call still a phone call and it interrupted me filming since i'm still a baby youtuber and i feel on my phone i don't even know what i was saying but i believe i was saying something of the gist of um you know i really don't mind having these sort of like conversations and like being a little messy especially when it comes to like problematic people so i don't really feel like you know when i am a bigger creator that oh my god i'm gonna have all this drama i don't i don't see it that way because i'm just saying what literally i mean any consumer any watcher says like bro you guys are partying during a pandemic in the bahamas a place that doesn't have the same resources that we have here in the states and here in the states especially in la we don't even have a lot of resources our own selves you know um because it's really that bad so yeah anyway i don't know where i was but let's get back into it the next thing that i really feel that oh, we need to leave in 2020 could have left this in our 2014-13 pretentious tumblr years is being elitist being snobby being a gatekeeper like okay the only thing i did gatekeep was unreleased lana music and i feel like that is warranted because it's just like the only thing i will gatekeep i will admit that like it's the one thing us og fans have is that heard of her music that most people don't even know about and like having that connection with her i know it sounds so crazy but that is why a lot of us um keep it you know hold on all right guys sorry i'm back i scooted my chair back you can see my wig i mean this is a let me show you guys this lovely red wig though we love her she sure is party okay um i get interrupted yet again <laughs> so where was i so another thing I want us to leave in 2021 is being elitist, being a gatekeeper. Um, the only thing that I have gatekept, gatekept, I can admit, was um, unreleased Lana. Like, and I saw a TikTok saying that like it's okay <laughs> to gatekeep unreleased Lana Del Rey because it's like, it's like our thing, you know what I mean? Like, but that's the only thing I will gatekeep. But the rest, that's like, for weird fan reasons, you know? It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. But I guess I'm being hypocritical, but hold on, I need water. So being elitist, being a gatekeeper, um, if someone asks you, hey, where did you get your skirt? And you're like, um, I, it was a gift, um, five, I mean, 27 million years ago, and my great, 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 great grandfather bought it to me, and I just don't know where I got it. And you, girl, you get it at Forever 21. Just say that, you know? Like, just say that. What is the point? And also, like, what's the point of judging people? by the amount of knowledge they have on a particular subject or what equipment they have so it's like like if someone's getting into obscure 60s 70s movies why be like oh you only watch dario argento movies you don't know about this and that and the third it's like you were a beginner once too i know you didn't pop out straight knowing about all these people i know you did it so don't do that don't be like oh you only have 20 records in your collection <laughs> wow and here's the thing not everyone cares about records 
some people are fine with a little costly record player because most of the time they're probably just listening to their AirPods or their streaming services, their Spotify, their Apple Music, their whatever. So it's like people invest in what they care about. And I invest in things that some of my friends would see as like a stupid purchase. But then some of my friends like care about other things. Like don't judge people by what size TV they have or what speakers they have or if they even have speakers. You guys have to remember that not everyone cares about the same things you care about. So spending, let's say, $1,000 on like a really awesome TV surround sound system to me is silly. I'm fine with the stereo coming straight from my TV. It don't mean that much to me. I'm fine with a little normal record player. I love my records, don't get me wrong, but I mean, I'm not a DJ. Definitely won't be DJing anytime soon if I even wanted to get into it. Um, I don't have millions of records or even thousands of records. You know, I have like probably like 200 or so. Like, it's not that much um, considering, you know, and that's fine. So for me, I don't really see the point in like buying this state of the art record player because it doesn't. It's that's not a purchase that makes sense for me. However, spending a lot of money on a handbag for me makes a lot of sense because I love handbags. I would spend $5,000 on a handbag. I would. Um, some of my friends may see that as so silly. I would spend, you know, um, I claim to spend a lot of money on a Birkin, speaking in manifestation terms. I don't see nothing wrong with that if you have the money to do it, if you spend fucking 15, 30k on a bag, I mean, whatever. Some people would spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on a car. Some rich people don't care about cars, you know? I mean, like, it's all about what you care about. So don't be elitist about, oh, you only have that. Like, take into consideration that a lot of people those people that you're like making fun of what they have probably don't care about it anyway. You ever thought about that? And it's like, it's weird because people really want to be on a pedestal of like being so elite without realizing that like they have things that I may consider be like, but I would never say that because it's so stupid. Like why? You know, I'm not going to be like, oh, you wear your um, makeup from the dollar store? Wow. Because for some people, dollar store makeup is what they can afford and it's beginner friendly. Why not? Why? I, I, I just really don't see the point in that. So leave that in 2020. I mean, that should have never been even in 2020, but leave the elitism and the gatekeeping in the past. Please. One of the main things, or probably the main thing I want to leave in 2020 is this whole pandemonium. Okay. But I keep being interrupted um, from filming. So you know what? I'm definitely going to be wrapping this up, but we can do a part two of this. So let's do one more thing that really grinds my gears and hopefully we don't bring it into 2020 forward because I really think in 2021, we need to leave the Nicki Minaj slander at the door. Um, there was a time when it was really cool to be on the Nicki hate train. I never boarded that train. I never. Mojo! Anyway, there was a time when it was like super cool to be on the Nicki hate train, to hate her, to antagonize her. The whole hating on black women thing, I mean, it's been old. Leave that woman alone. Leave her baby alone. Um, she's not perfect. No one is. Um, but, I mean, it doesn't mean I agree with everything that she's done and everyone she associates with. But there definitely was a time when it was fun to hate on her. And um, don't bring no hate to Nikki. Um, the barbs will get you. And... I don't think you want that. I don't think you want any beef with the barbs. The barbs 
Baby! <laughs> the barbs! You don't want it with the barbs. So one last thing that I want to discuss that we need to leave in 2020 is stop hating from outside the club when you couldn't get in. Obviously, I don't mean an actual club because y'all should not be partying. We are in a pandemonium. Uh, a Pythagorean theorem. Y'all should not be doing that. But, I mean, people that, like, are upset and, like, jealous, basically. People that are like, huh, Instagram is failing. Guess you guys are going to get a real job. Are you mad that you can't do it? That people didn't find you interesting enough to gain a following? So you're happy to see people worry about their livelihoods like that takes a really disgusting and like that is like i can't imagine being like ha ha the instagram model's gotta get a real job now what is wrong with you that is gross 10 out of 10 times if you were able to grow a really large platform i know for a fact all those people saying that would be capitalizing the heck out of it i mean duh who wouldn't who wouldn't want to get paid thousands of dollars to be yourself? I mean, beats clocking in, duh. I feel like that is just so gross when people do that and they purposely like want to see people do bad. Like that, I don't like that at all. That's just really shady to me. Really weird, that's off behavior, I don't like that that's like hearing it's the equivalent of oh your store's going out of business hmm guess you gotta get another job now that's what you get for working for that company hmm they sell ugly shirts anyway that's like that's how y'all look like and the fact that there are people that gain so much happiness to see other people fail or like to see other people be worried about like it's weird. It's like the weirdest behavior to me. I don't understand it. I don't like it. Should I take this off? Should I expose? No. I've been in this the whole video. We'll keep this look. It's just really weird to me. I don't like it. I find it really strange that there are people that enjoy seeing people fail or like be worried about their livelihood. That's just so strange to me. And you see it all the time on Twitter. Instagram's dying now. Huh? Everyone's going to Twitter. <laughs> I bet Instagram models are not going to be able to make content over here. It doesn't work on Twitter, honey. Like, or like, hmm, guess they're going to have to go to the unemployment office. Guess they're going to have to go get a real job. McDonald's is hiring, honey. First of all, you sound classes as F by being like, oh, you're going to work at McDonald's. Like, let's not do that like because we can get into it we can dissect that class's statement but we're not going to do that today but we're also what we're not going to do is to be so happy that like people are concerned about something and you're happy that they have to stoop down to like another lower level which is weird and it ultimately boils down to is that you feel whether you admit it or not that you're on a lower level than them it doesn't mean influencers are higher than you they are not but you see them subconsciously as higher so when you're like oh now they're gonna lose their jobs ha 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 you're gonna be working with me at the mall like dissect it get into it and like figure out why does that make you feel so hype why does that get you hypey honey like that's just really weird to me. I don't like that at all. Um, very strange. Don't ever, don't ever rejoice in a downfall or a situation of someone else because karma will get you. Don't ever rejoice in something like that. That's just actually disgusting and really weird. Um, evil. So I believe, I mean, I never write lists when I do these videos. I just sit in front of my camera and go, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But that concludes today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All my social medias will be down below. My Instagram, my TikTok, my Twitter, my, I don't put my Tumblr, but my TikTok, my Twitter, and my Instagram will be down below. Um, 
all my contact information, all that fun stuff will be listed below. Leave me in the comments. What do you want to see out in 2021? Like, what do you want to see like done with in 2021? Let me know. I'm really excited to see. Uh, Happy New Year, you guys! Happy New Year! Um, let's rock this thing. And it's you know 2021. I love it. I'm ready. I claim abundance and everything that I want. Claim it for yourself as well. Get into those manifestations. And yeah, let's do the damn thing. I shall see y'all in my next video. Bye.